prepping's over, practicing is over. Now it's time to test. That's what's been going on this week at Lakeside as uh, the first round of the work keys assessments are underway for juniors and seniors. Our teachers have been working collaboratively. English teachers working with math teachers, working with science teachers to help teach these kids the skills they need to do well on the work keys test. After all, we do it for the ACT and the LEAP. Why not for work keys? It's perhaps the most important test these kids take. Work keys is put out by the ACT. However, instead of a number, the test is broken down into color-coded designations, as in bronze, silver, gold, platinum. In addition to that, it is only three tests, and it's not your Englishes and your sciences. Instead, it's applied math, workplace documents, and graphic literacy. You can see here levels three through six in the applied math scale and the topics that it covers. Now let's listen to Ms. Winters as she works with some of our seniors on the applied math portions. Like it says project A took him, they're trying to, they're trying to find the payroll. Okay, they're trying to find the payroll based on how many hours they work. So it said project A spent six hours and a quarter of the time. And then it said project B took 11 hours and a quarter. And then it said project C took 13 and three fourths. Okay, right. You are 13 and three fourths hours on project C. It says convert the fractions into decimals and a term. From tops money, enabling students to go to college, all the way to industry certificates students will earn by scoring a certain level on these tests. Work keys is without a doubt one of the most important tests our students take. After all this practice, after all this preparation, we know our students will excel because that's what warriors do. And after all, it is always a great day to be a warrior.